Flex it. Fish on. Yo, that's a good fish because I can't, I can't really pick it up. Oh, wow. This is going to take a little while. Yeah, he's got you bent over pretty good. Maybe it's, maybe it's not a bass because it, it's bulldogging straight down. Well, you caught him on that shelf. Oh, gosh, dude, it's on the bottom. <laughs> oh, come on. I got to move away from the trees because if that fish decides that's where it wants to go, I'm not stopping it. Whatever it was, it smashed it. Oh, come on. Damn. <laughs> He's got you bent over. This would be the fish of the day right here. Hope so. Hope I don't lose it. It's got to be a bass. Because it, it, now I'm feeling head shake. Right. I got you on video. Good, good. Oh, gosh. man i thought i missed it too because i felt it hit and it went slack and i was like no yeah it's, looks like we're good you've been biting it for a couple minutes now yeah i don't I haven't even seen it yet. Nope. All I had to do is stop and think about changing my um, chronomid and you hooked up. So it was perfect. I think this was on that bass worm. No way. Yeah, because I just switched it. <laughs> and then I, I let it sit on the shelf and then twitched it off. And as it fell, that's when I, when I got into it. Yeah, those would be a... There we go. That's a fish. You'd be selling them. Where are you? Oh, it's a big old carp. Is it a carp? Yeah. It's got to be one of those big um, pre-spawners. Gotcha. Well, that's a worm, right? Oh, gosh. Yeah, it, it inhaled that bass worm. Now let's... <laughs> Now I only hope I can actually net it. No kidding. There we go. There it is. Look at that bow and your rod. Wow. Heck of a way to break in the six foot. Yeah, now I'm starting to wonder if I should get that one rather than the recon. I know what you would say. I'm gonna kick over closer to you. We're getting to the end now. I'm just trying to stay out of the way. Oh, there you are. Come on. Yeah, that worm's right in his mouth. <laughs> that was the the one with the rubber legs I tied too. For kicks and giggles. Awesome. Okay, now we're getting to the end. This is where it gets sketchy. This is a long I'd help you, but I'm filming. No, it's all good. I think I, I've been trying to avoid going past that knot, but I, I'm gonna have to get this done. There we go. Come on, nope. Oh wow! There we go. All right, I'm gonna have Woo! to. 
<laughs> I'm gonna have to see this fish because you you oh, netted man. him on the other side of the camera. I'm coming your way to see it. A lot of people don't realize how predatory these fish can be. Here we go. Jose with the big fish today. First bass and carp of the season. And it's a nice one. Here we go. Oh gosh. Yeah. Ho, 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 ho. Yeah, baby. There we go. Big old Snake River Common. Awesome. All right. Thank you, friend. Woo! <laughs> So this is the fly in question. It's just a simple bass worm that I came up with. Squish nail, a dubbing loop, and some rubber legs. Kind of looks like a sculpin, kind of looks like a crawdad, kind of looks like a senko. Uh, I've done really well on this fly with bass. Uh, this is my first carp on this particular fly, and that carp absolutely nailed it, which is kind of... Uh, it's kind of a normal thing for those pre-spawn carp. They can be really predatory, especially in the Snake River.